and a British pub is apologizing to a group of seminarians and priests after mistaking them for a rowdy bachelor party in costume. In the end, though, no feelings were hurt. Mm. Cheers. 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 A group of seminarians enjoy a drink now, but they had a bit of an issue doing so last week when one of their own was ordained. The seminarians thought we'd go out and celebrate in the style we know best, uh, which is to, to come to one of our local uh, pubs, which we did. That's when they ran into an issue. We walked to the bar, and we were told no stag do's, no fash fancy dress. Um, and after a bit, of a, a bit of a conversation with the barman, uh, there was no sort of leeway, and it was this is the policy of the, the pub. A doorman at the City Arms pub in Cardiff, Wales, 150 miles west of London, turned the group away. Well, we thought originally it was a joke, and he, he was just uh, playing around with us. Thankfully for them, a bar manager realized the priests were real and invited them back in. And that's not all. When we came back in and everybody realized what had happened, the entire pub just stood up and applauded us. And um, we were offered a, a free drink. I don't think it's uncommon to see people in fancy dress in Cardiff on a, a Saturday afternoon, but uh, this pub is probably one of our quieter pubs. The barman, I think, is a little bit embarrassed about what's happened, but uh, it's all been taken in good fun. And the clergy members have no hard feelings. I felt so sorry because he was such a nice chap. <laughs> Well, nice to see those priests and seminarians taking it all in stride. We thank you for watching tonight. For the entire EWTN News Nightly team, I'm Wyatt Goolsby. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from a Catholic perspective. Good night and God bless.